there in this tutorial I am going to show you how to create and set up your goodreads.com account the really neat thing about goodreads for students is that you don't need an email address that you can open in order to create it a lot of the times districts give students an e a ghost email address where yes it's technically an email address but you don't have an inbox and the problem that arises there is that when you need to create an account that requires confirmation you can't because it's a ghost email but you don't have that problem with goodreads because you don't have to confirm any account so i am going to set up an account under a fictitious student name and I'm going to call myself Jaden Smith and I'm going to put in my ghost email or whatever email address it is you have if you don't if you have a regular email address with the inbox use your school provided email and then my password then click sign up and then it's going to ask you if or I'm request that you get book recommendations from your friends skip all that so just click on skip this step and then it's going to ask you to select your favorite genres so I'm going to click on graphic novels manga historical fiction poetry thriller self-help nonfiction okay then click continue and automatically it generates books from the genres that you selected it's gonna ask you to rate 20 more books to get personalized recommendations so you just go down the list um, if you don't and, and then you click on want to read if it's something you want to read if you already read it you might want to um, rate it if you don't if you if the books you've read you don't find it on this list you can always search it in here and I'll search Lord of the Flies as a book I've read and I'll rate it and let's say I look at the spire I want to read it you click on want to read but it gives you a countdown at the top how many books you must rate. And then once you finish rating, um, it says we've got recommendations for you. And you can see your recommendations. And voila, you already have yourself some recommended books that you haven't read, which is pretty neat. My account, I'm ready to rate my book. Let's say I read the book. I am Malala. Just search it up here and choose the version, the cover that looks like the one you read. I'll go ahead and choose the first one. And in order to, you're going to see that there's already some reviews down here. Actually, this one doesn't have any reviews. The reviews are usually down here. But in order to review a book first, you need to read it. I'll give it five stars because I really like this book. And then it says, thanks for reading, write a review. You click on write a review. And that is where you can write a review. Um, you give it. You already gave it your rate rating. You can choose shelves, um, maybe read, currently reading to read. You can add a new shelf, maybe books I really like. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to leave it under the read book shelf. And then write what did you think. Make sure you follow the rubric to make sure you write the review according to the requirements of the rubric fully. And then the date you finished the review. And then click save. And it will add and leave this box checked off. Add to my update feed. And once you've ra rated the book and written the review, it will appear under books that you've reviewed. And for the whole world that sees this um, this post, they will be able to see your book review, which is pretty awesome. So, happy reviewing.